Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday, April 3rd. There was a beautiful sunrise out this morning. I hope you got to see it as well as me. I want to thank God for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way with a purpose. He didn't have to do it, but he did. And I just pray for everyone under the sound of his voice. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to talk today out of Mark's, uh, Mark, the book of Mark. And it's uh, 6, a prophet without honor. Jesus left there and went to his hometown, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were amazed. Where did this man get these things, they asked. What's this wisdom that has been given him, that he even does miracles? Isn't this the carpenter? Isn't this Mary's son and the brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon? Aren't his sisters here with him and with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, Only in his hometown among his relatives and in his own house as a prophet without honor. He lay his hands on a few sick people and healed them. And he was amazed at their lack of faith. And, you know, Jesus was saying that here I was in his hometown doing all these miraculous things, but he had no honor. And that just made me think about some things. How many of us are unaccepting, unforgiving? stereotyping, so opinionated and afraid of the truth that we don't, we, we just condemn the one, you know, but we bring a whole lot of other people in the category with them. And I wanted to give you some examples. How many prisoners have served their time for their crime and come home to serve a lifetime still as prisoners? How often do you ever see in the newspaper a retraction for someone who was proven innocent of something? There was a man lit let go free out of jail after having served 42 years yesterday over a fire that he didn't even commit. You know, how many people go away from here only to prosper elsewhere, but they return and they're looked up, looked upon as highfalutin. They think they're better than we are. You know, instead of welcoming to their own home, hometowns. You know, how many more young boys have to walk past you with their pants down and before the first thought in your head is that they're thugs and they're no good. How many more trailer parks do we have to pass and curse the people inside of them thinking they're evil? Think about that. You know, how many shades do you have to be to, to fit in? Or how many good grades of hair do you have to have to be good enough? You know, how many Hispanics do have to be seen as foreigners and not belonging here? How many more? You know, how many more Asians have to be still in your pipe dream of ownership or something? How many more women have to make lower wages because of gender and they don't deserve a man's pay? How many more presidents have to look just like you before they're even respected? Hmm. There are just so many things. Yeah, so many things. How many hoods do we have to wear over our heads or on our heads before we face the truth? The truth will set you free. We have to give honor to the people in their own home, in their own hometown. You know, how many how many people have to be dying? You know, before you feel sorry for them, before you not feel sorry for them, but before you acknowledge them, look at them different, accept them for who they are. Maybe it steps on some of his toes. It steps on my toes. I'm not perfect. I've judged before. In the wrong way. Stereotype, stereotype people categorize them in the wrong way. But that's not godlike. And we have to start doing better. We have to start doing better. Jesus said, only in his hometown, among his relatives and in his own house, is a prophet without honor. A prophet without honor. Pray on these things. Meditate on these things. Let's do better. I'm including myself in all of this. This is Bernie Duller. This is Bernie Duller. God bless you. Sometimes I wonder why God even loves us. But I'm glad he does. I'm glad he does.